What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel. Click your reading for sign of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, charge. So for the basics, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, try Pieces for 5. Thanks for all my new subscribers. And personal readings are open. And I have a new service called Life Coaching. If anybody's interested in that, all that's in the link in the description box below. This is the first sign of Aquarius. This is Aquarius and AP of Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. Stuff for the basic. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. Does not apply? Let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with the rest. Okay, so I received two channel messages as I was. Um, okay, I just started taking them off. Um, two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy for um, week two of October of 2022. Aquarius. The first message I heard a karmic tarot reader is under investigation for an illegal business of the past. Um, I heard um, money laundering is what I heard. And the second one, um, so I feel you could know this karmic tarot reader or you could have reported this karmic tarot reader or you're investigating this karmic tarot reader or you, maybe this is somebody of your past or your present or what have you, what have you. There's a reason I'm pulling this karmic tarot reader that's currently being investigated for money laundering and illegal business of the past in your reading, Aquarius. So I feel you either have a current connection with this person or a uh, past connection. It is a feminine energy. It's a feminine energy is what I heard. It's a feminine energy. So um, I think you guys know her or you used to communicate with her or something. Um, only you know your situation story, not anybody else. And the second one I heard was shocking events coming uh, for many Aquarius this soon this week. And we are Sunday 10-9 of 2022. So I'm presum presumptively feeling it's going to be October 10th through October 17th of 2022. Presumptively is what I'm intuitively feeling here. But uh, everybody's on different time and life path. So for some it could be um, outside of that range. Okay. Spirit messages, you have sound clips. I just heard cry again. I hope everybody's doing well. Spirit messages, you have sound clips. Lion. For some, you can be dealing with a um, with fire sign. We have double fire sign energy in here. If you are, they can have Aries, Leo, Sag. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. If you are, Snake Energy is Fire Sign Energy, and so is Lion. For some, I feel you could be dealing with two or two plus Fire Signs, possibly. Spirit messages you have for Manifesting Dreams, Snake, Lion. Pale, Time to Get Out of a Situation. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you, tower, solid foundation, successful effort, and success. I heard take them all. That's the last two. Okay. Snake. An Aquarius is getting a, a huge wake-up call that a Libra in energy is a huge-ass snake. Low vibrational Libra in energy. However, soon through many series of chain events, at least one of you is about to come in contact with very high vibrational Libra in energy. You have not met this person yet. They're going to be a very positive influence in your life. You're about to notice huge differences between this new person new Libran energy and the old Libran energy. For a lot of you, you're about to cut this old Libran energy off for good. And for one, you're going to make a situation right of the past involving a fire sign and this low vibrational Libran energy. So you plug in how it resonates. That was long but strong. So you plug in how it resonates. So 
whoever that's for. Okay. So the low vibrational Libra and energy of the past that doesn't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Uh, you're already getting a huge wake up call. Uh, it sounds like for a lot, you're about to, upcoming, because you're about to meet a high vibrational Libra and energy soon. You haven't met them yet, but you're about to for whoever that's for, for at least one of you. But it sounds like once you meet this upcoming high vibrational Libra and energy, I think you're going to know they're a Libra. I think you're going to know their birthday or learn it. Uh, maybe they tell you, maybe you ask, maybe you see it on paperwork. I'm not sure. But um, I heard you're going to see huge differences between this person, a high vibrational Libra and energy, and the old one of the past. Um, and for one of you guys, you're going to, it's going to give you such a huge wake up call. I think you're going to compare these people. It could be masculine or femme, Libra of the past, masculine or femme, Libra of the future. But once you come in contact with the new one, and I think you're going to know they're a Libra because there's a reason we're pulling in double Libra and energy of your past and your future, high vibrational versus low vibrational. I heard you're, you're going to like compare them, basically. You're going to compare. And it's going to be night and day. And I heard it's going to give you a huge wake up call that basically some kind of situation of the past regarding this low vibrational Libra and a fire sign energy of your past. I think this might be the lion energy here. Um, and this is the snake energy I'm feeling. And then the lion energy fire sign of your past. Um, I heard you're going to realize comparing these two, the upcoming futuristic Libra energy to the person of your past low vibrational, you're going to give you a huge wake up call that basically it sounds like you treated a fire sign wrong. And I heard you're going to, um, through many series of chain events, um, make it right between the fire sign. And I'm assuming yourself or the situation right. For some, it could be the situation. For some, maybe you apologize. For some, maybe you helped make something right. I'm not sure. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But somehow, you have, somebody has a low vibrational Libra of their past. For some, I, I heard for a lot of you guys, you're going to cut this person off. You're going to cut this person off. But the upcoming futuristic Libra energy is going to give you a huge wake-up call, I think, of how you really should treat people. I mean, I heard you're going to hear a night and day, you're going to see a night and day difference in these people. Um, so true justice balance scales energy here is what I'm feeling. This person, I mean, you can be a Libra all day long, but you have to actually act like it. And it doesn't sound like this person did. Um, but you're going to realize this, at least for one, and then it's going to make you, it's going to cause you to either make it right. I heard you're going to make it right between the fire sign, uh, some kind of situation in the past and a fire sign. So, however you make it right, however you make it right, I don't know if it's resolving a situation, it sounds like it's resolving some kind of situation, whatever that is and how that applies, but somehow you're a power play mate, a mover in this, in some shape, form, or fashion. It sounds like somebody's being held up or stagnant or stuck because of some kind of lie, some kind of low vibrational Libra energy of your past, lies, deception, trickery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and it sounds like it's a fire sign that's kind of caught in the middle of this or caught in the crosshairs or was collateral damage or something. But this upcoming futuristic Libra energy that you haven't met yet is about to give you a huge wake-up call. Two completely different people, two completely different energies. Um, how that resonates and applies. I think you're going to have um, solid foundation, successful effort, and su double success here. Um, maybe resolving this issue between this fire sign and maybe yourself or a fire, the fire sign in a situation. However, that resonates and applies, but somehow this low vibrational Libra energy um, either caused this situation or instigated it or somehow they are attached to this or they was attached to it. And somehow you are in the mix of this if that situation applies for you. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else, but I definitely think it's low vibrational Libra your past. It's the snake energy. And I heard for a lot of you guys, of course, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. You're going to cut this person off. Like, you're going to cut communication off. It sounds like you still communicate with them, or you have them in your phone, or you communicate every now and then, or what have you, what have you. But I think you're already identified them as the snake energy, or you're about to, and you're going to cut them off. But only you know your situation story, not anybody else. You plug in how it resonates. Woo! All right. Lion.
There's about to be huge changes in one Aquarius' city. Huge changes. It's about to shock the hell out of you. These are about to be huge positive changes. They're about to be better for everybody. Everybody. One, you're going to love these changes. One, you're not. Okay? So, huge positive changes around uh, the Aquarius city. Uh, city and urbanized area. So, one of you guys lives in a city. Not like a very, very small village or town or what have you. A, a large, like a city and nice urbanized area. And um, there's about to be huge changes in somebody's city. One of you guys' city. Um, I heard it's going to be better for everybody. And it was emphasized everybody. So I think there was unfair treatment or or discrimination or something unequal to certain person or people in the past is what I'm intuitively feeling here. But there's been, it sounds like there's already been huge changes. And um, it's about to benefit everybody. So no unequal treatment, no unfairness, liberty and justice and true balance, equal Libra and scale energy for all, basically. Her for a, it sounds like a lot of you guys are really going to like these changes. For, for at least one of you guys, you're not. Only you know if you're not going to like these changes or not. But if it's creating equality and fairness and equal rights and liberties for everybody, I would hope everybody would be on the same train, but some people are sexist, some people are, uh, some people are, you know, sexist, and there's colorism out there, and there's outdated belief systems, and still to this day, and there shouldn't be, but there is, there is, still in 2022, unfortunately, so only you would know where you fit into that category and scale, okay, manifesting dream. Number 46 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 46 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Manifesting dreams. An Aquarius is moving very soon. One to your hometown. One many states away. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Clean slate. Okay, so there's at least two of you guys. Uh, one of you guys, it sounds like you're moving back to your hometown. So you're sounds like you're moving far locations is what I'm presuming, but only you know your situation story, story not anybody else. But one, you're moving back to your hometown specifically. So whatever your hometown is, and however that resonates. And one, you're moving many states away so i feel you live in the united states for situation number two um i heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way uh clean slate so some kind of clean slate energy whether you're moving back to your hometown or you're moving back uh many states or moving many states away you're gonna be able to manifest your dreams grow and manifest yourself something happened i think wherever you currently are because it sounds like you're moving moving quickly it sounds like it's about to happen soon um but, and it sounds like it hasn't happened yet, if this resonates for you. But it sounds like something happened in the past where you currently are. And that's why you want to, you're about to move either back to your hometown or many states away. You're going to be able to manifest and uh, grow and build and develop. Um, I feel maybe for some now you're stuck and stagnant where you currently are. I think something serious happened in the past, either directly involving you or indirectly involving you and that's why you're deciding to move um that's what just what i intuitively feel but you plug it in how it resonates okay but i do feel whoever this is for you're stuck and stagnant right now or your fear you're going to be and so you don't want to be stuck and stagnant you want to keep moving you want the wheel to keep moving so that's why you're either moving back to your hometown or many states away is what i'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates aquarius you're about to take lots of fireside energy desire, drive, and motivation to do this. And I also feel you had a lot of stake energy in the past, and that's why some of you guys are moving. Because you had stake, I think, betrayal energy, snake energy, um, sneaky, deceptive energy in the past, and that's why you're about to move. So you can keep moving forward. Pale, time to get out of a situation.
An Aquarius is about to receive a very important phone call regarding an illegal business. And one regarding a pedophile ring. Exposure. Okay. One of you guys is about to receive a very important phone call. One regarding an illegal business and one regarding exposure of a pedophile ring. So time to get out of a situation. I feel for some, you might have been in this uh, hand in the illegal honeypot, possibly. For some, you might have had hand in illegal pedophile ring pot. Or, or if you didn't, only you know your situation, not anybody else. Or you could, maybe just somebody's telling you about this. Maybe for some, you're investigators investigating this. Maybe for some, you're going to be help coming in, bust this shit up. Maybe for some, um, you could be an investigator. You could be police. You could be whatever, whatever, whatever. You're either on the positive side of this or the negative side of this is what I'm trying to say. So whatever side you're on, it's about to be busted up. Whether you're helping bust it up, you're helping expose it, or you financially gained off of it and you were trying to cover this shit up, but now it's blowing up. Um, it's time to get out of the situation uh, regarding an illegal business and some kind of um, um, pedophile, yucky pedophile ring. Um, shit's blowing up, man. It's hitting the fan. Time to get out. Whether you're helping it blow up or you had your hand in the illegal honeypot. How that resonates in the plots. But nobody manifests and grows properly when they have hands in illegal honeypots, if anybody needs to hear that. I mean, yeah, it comes up for, it, it'll make you come up for a little while, but eventually when that shit gets exposed, I mean, what are you going to do? And that's just the truth. I wouldn't want to be involved in any of that shit, and that's just the truth. Dog far away, a, a distant friend is thinking of you. An Aquarius is about to get a phone call from a different country that you live in. It is someone in your past and you're very positively connected to this person. It's going to make you very happy. Oh, that's beautiful. So one of you guys, you're about to, it, it does sound like it's happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. You're about to receive a phone call from someone that lives in a different country than you. So whatever country you live in, Aquarius, they live in a different country than you. But it's a person in your past, and you were very positively connected to them. So um, it's going to make you happy. So a distant friend is thinking of you. I think they're going to call you. And they live in a different country than you, if that resonates and applies. And it hasn't happened yet. I think they're going to have lots of desire, drive, and motivation to call you. It is somebody that lives in a different country than you. For some, it's someone you went to college with. For some, it's someone you went to elementary school with. For some, a religious organization. Okay, for some of you guys, it's someone you went to college with. For some, it's some you went. For some, it's someone you went to college with. For some, it's some you went to elementary school with. For some, you uh, were you met this person or you connected with this person in some kind of religious organization of the past. And uh, for some, they live in a different country than you. But I think they're going to call you. Tower, solid foundation, successful effort. Someone's in college right now. Grad school. Someone's in college right now, freshman. Okay, so there's at least two of you guys in college right now. One, you're a freshman, so undergraduate. And for one, you are in grad school. Okay, so solid foundation, successful effort. I think if you keep going, you're going to have success. Whether you're a freshman for undergraduate studies or you are a... Um, um, in graduate studies, how that resonates and applies, but you have solid foundation, successful effort and success. So I think if you keep going, you keep doing what you need to do. You have lots of desire, drive and motivation. Uh, hopefully you don't get in any kind of crazy sorority or fraternity keggers or hazing or any of that shit. I was pulling that in. 
couple weeks ago. Hopefully you stay out of that and you manifest your dreams properly and um, you won't uh, hopefully run into any horrible powers. Um, but congratulations to whoever that's for. A feminine energy of your past through many series of chain of events. She's about to be very successful. For one, it's going to shock the hell out of you. For one, you're going to, you knew she could do it. And you're going to be very happy. Wow. So if this resonates for you, it's a feminine energy of your past. So whoever this feminine energy of your past is and how that applies. Heard through many series of chain of events. She's about to be very successful. So I think she's busy manifesting her dreams. Growing and manifesting her dreams. Um, and she's about to be very successful through many series of chain events. Um, I heard for one, um, it's going to, it's like, it's, it, I feel like it's going to shock you. And for one, like you didn't believe she could do it. But for one, I heard you'd be very happy um, because you knew she could do it. So absolutely, you should always believe in people. If they believe in themselves, then there's no reason why you shouldn't believe in them. I mean, you don't know until you try. And that's just the truth. For real, for real. If anybody needs to hear that. You don't know until you try. So why would you negatively think upon somebody if they think they can do it? I mean, if they if they try and they fail, then at least they, you, they said, at least they try. Because it's better than not trying and sitting around like Eeyore. Oh, poor me. You know what I'm saying? No. At least get your butt out there and try. If you don't try, then that's when I would start getting worried. At least have the desire, drive, and motivation to try, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And whoever this fame energy is, she is. She's trying, obviously. And she's about to be very successful. For one, I heard you knew she could do it. Kudos. Whoever this fame energy of your past is, for one, I heard, um, basically, you didn't believe in her. You didn't believe in her. But I don't know why somebody wouldn't believe in somebody that believes in their own self. And that's just the truth. If he, I mean, if he might need to hear that. So she's going to have solid foundation, successful effort, and success. Um, it's a feminine energy of your past. For some, it could be a fire sign. Possibly you got double fire sign energy, or it could be any other sign. You plug this person in, how they resonate. But she's busy manifesting her dreams. And um, I heard through many series of chain events, she's about to be very successful. So I think there's about to be some kind of uh, tower, but positive tower moment for her. Um, it doesn't sound like she's like doing horribly as it is, but it sounds like something is about to start pick, picking up for her or taking off for her, or she received some kind of piece of information or assistance or something positive is about to make something pick up is what I feel. I didn't hear that. It's just intuitively, intuitively what I feel. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Aquarius, it is a feminine energy of your past. One, you believed in her. You knew she could do it. For one, you didn't believe in her. Uh, but like I said previously, why would you not believe in somebody if they're out there trying to make the shit happen? And that's just the truth. It's better to go out there and try, try, try again and you not be successful than you not even try to begin with. Because um, that's confidence issue, issues right there. And you always should have confidence in yourself and believe in yourself, whether you're successful or not. An Aquarius is about to gain a whole new viewpoint on many situations soon. It's about to positively benefit them in a huge way. Many things are about to happen in their world soon. It's about to give them a huge, a huge different viewpoint. It's about to seriously benefit. Okay, so perspective change, viewpoint change, if this resonates for you, Aquarius. Um, so, okay, so whoever this is for, it sounds like it's upcoming. Um, something in at least one of you guys' world is about to occur. It sounds like many different things. Many different things are about to occur. It sounds like in your world. So I think you're about to see these things in your world. Manifest out in your world. It could be good things or bad things, but it's change energy. It's 555 five, five change energy, but it's about to give you 
a different perspective and viewpoint on ma or many different situations in like your world, your society, and uh, view um, viewpoints. It might be ageism, it might be sexism, it might be sexual harassment, discrimination. It might, I mean, I don't, I'm just throwing things out there. I didn't hear that. Um, or whatever it may be. Um, but it's about to change your viewpoint on many different perspective changes you had previously. Um, and I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So whatever these things are about to occur out in your universe, I, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's, you're going to be like on the sidelines indirectly. and You're about to see this. And that's what it's about to um, change your viewpoint. For some, you could directly be in it. But I feel for a lot of you guys, you're not going to be directly in it. You're just going to see situations like outside looking in. And it's going to, I feel you're going to reflect back on maybe what you think of thought about situation or situations or how you used to think and it's about to change your perspective your viewpoint is what i feel but you plug it in how it resonates i heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way so i kind of feel it's like okay so y'all know how like people watching like for example you go to the mall it's a very very busy day and you sit you're chilling you're sitting there crap ton of people hundreds of people right and um you're just sitting there just quietly watching all these people and all these different situations but it's not you in these situations like for example you're sitting at the water fountain in a very nice mall but there's like 500 people in there and you're watching 10 different situations go down at once 10 different people and situations and whatever whatever that's kind of what i'm i'm envisioning here but i heard it's going to um benefit you in a huge way so i think it's view, it's viewpoint perspective change belief systems of the past resurfacing and transmuting is what i'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates i think you're going to have success with this i think i heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way so i, I think you're going to have somebody's viewpoint perspective change is about to change i think on one situation or many different situations and it's about to be very useful for i feel society for yourself for the way you deal with people the way you handle situations in the future or what have you what have you that's what i feel um whoever this is for that's at least for one of you success An Aquarius is about to hire in a new employee to a facility site soon. Someone did not want you to hire this person in. They still do not want you to hire this person in. But you intuitively feel you should do it. And you're about to get confirmations from the universe that you have made the right decision. There's reasons that people at this facility and site do not want you to hire this person in. Know this. They don't like this person because they know they will shake things up around there. Know this. Oh, that's so juicy. Wow. Okay. So, okay. So, you do the hiring and firing. Your position on authority in your Aquarius. I feel you might be an executive director. You're high level. You're high level in a corporate conglomerate. Now, whatever um, field you work in, I'm not sure. Only you know that. But you are involved in hiring, firing, basically, at facility sites in a corporate conglomerate. Now, whatever corporate conglomerate that is, only you know that. But you don't work at the sites. You work for corporate, is what I feel. So I'm feeling executive director or... Um, or a um, director or manager boss supervisor ceo or whatever whatever but you work for corporate is what i'm feeling you don't work in the sites you work like your boss is in corporate is what i'm feeling and i feel you're the boss of the bosses at the sites because you're responsible for the hiring and firing of the bosses at the sites wow okay whoever this is for but 
are basically okay so it sounds like you've been doing interviews uh for people at this one particular site and there's one person that you want to hire in there but you've gotten flack it sounds like from the people at this facility and site to hire this person in but i heard you or in it sounds like you're very highly intuitive and you know you should do it. You have an intuitive inside hunch that you should hire this person. But I heard you're right. You're getting it for a reason. Uh, apparently, the people at this site, they don't like this person. They don't like this person, but it's because they know this person from the past. I think a lot of these people used to work around this person at a different facility or site or a different place. They know this person, but they know this person for a reason probably because they used to work with this person. But usually when people don't like people and they're underneath them and they're giving people flack about hiring them above them, it's because they know they're going to do their job. And that's basically what's going on here is I heard these people don't like this person because this person does do their job. And it sounds like you're about to hire them in as like a top doll at this facility site. But the reason you're getting flack and pushback from all these people, Aquarius hiring person, is because they know they're going to do their job. But if I was you and I was getting all this flag from these people, that would initiate me to put this person in there quicker. In my opinion, because, because there's a reason they're giving you pushback, but it's because, it's because they know they're going to do their job. I mean, if you might need to hear that, I, I heard it's going to be a very smart decision. And apparently you've already gotten intuitive punches to do it, but you've been getting pushback from people at the facility. I think you're afraid you don't want to start like a World War III, but the problem is, I mean, not the problem. There's not a problem. But the thing is, yeah, it's going to piss them off. They don't like this person. But if you put them in over them, they know they have to listen and they have to do their job. If not, they're about to ask probably if they're going to get written up. So just a little food for thought, Aquarius. But you're highly intuitive. I heard you already knew to, uh, you felt intuitively to hire this person in. Um, so you go with your bad self. Yeah. If I was you, I'd hire this person in too. Kind of watch and see how it all goes down. Because they're afraid. They don't want this person in position of authority because they know they're going to have to do their damn job. If they don't, they're going to pay the consequences, basically. Probably a write-up or reprimanding or whatever, whatever. You see what I'm saying? Like shape up and ship out energy. You're going to be successful. Whoever you are, you do hiring and firing for a corporate conglomerate, whoever that is for. That If I was in your position, that's exactly what I would do. I would hire this person in. They're sweating, 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 talking shit about this person, talking shit about this person, talking shit about this person, talking shit about this person. But it's for because they don't, they won't push back because they don't want this person in there. But there's a reason. Because they know this person's going to clean some damn house. Of course, I'm sure they didn't tell you that. But I, but I heard it's going to be very successful. Ooh, man, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I don't think this person is a forceful energy. Um, I, I intuitively don't feel that. I didn't hear they wasn't, but there's a reason you're getting so much pushback, though, from the people. <laughs> because, I mean, think about it logically this way. If this person was in cahoots with all these people and frenzies with all these people, they would probably be talking this person up. But they're not. And they do know this person from the past. Well, there is a reason. Because if they were frenzies with this person, um, <laughs> um, they would expect favors and they could get away with things and they could punch in 15 minutes late and not be written up but they know this person don't play no games just saying just saying whoever that's for another aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call huge another aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call huge i'm serious i'm serious trust me you guys i've been a nurse a long time i've been in a lot of these situations many years many years now, I don't work out in the 3D now, and I haven't since May of 2022. I do this. Um, my life's changed a lot, um, and that's just the truth. But I'm telling you, there's a reason they're doing it, and it's because they are they don't they know if they probably clock in 30 minutes late, their ass going to get written up. 
they know if they come in drunk as a skunk, they're probably going to get, or high as a kite, they're going to get a, um, a drug test. You see what I'm saying? If people were talking this person up, it was probably their frenzy. And they probably knew if they came in high as a kite, um, they could get away with it. And they wouldn't get a drug test. You see what I'm saying? I feel this, this is like a head of a facility in some shape, form, or fashion, like a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, like a big wig position here. All right, well, I'm closing this out. I love you guys. I hope this helped, and I'm going to say.